I don't think I'm gonna wait for Christmas. CSB Christian Standard Bible in marbled mahogany calfskin and it has a dark brown calfskin liner. Now I have to say that this is a beautiful, beautiful cover. It's a beautiful color. Um, it's kind of hard to describe. It is brown, of course, but it has some different shades of brown. has a really nice texture, has a, a nice grain. It's not a, like a very pronounced grain. I wouldn't say that. Um, even if I compare it here to the goatskin, this is the New King James in purple goatskin. And you can see that the grain is a little bit more pronounced maybe and just different even though this is very um, fine grain but this is also natural grain but here you can see just the difference this is calf skin this is goat skin and I just I can't choose between the two I, I love both covers honestly they're both of them are exquisite just awesome. All right, well, it comes in this uh, beautiful black box as we are used to by Schuyler Bibles. And here you go. And the novelty here, just as for the second batch of New King James, Schuyler Quintel, and 28 GSM, is that these boxes are now clamshell boxes, okay? The Bible comes wrapped in this white paper and um, that's that. It is perimeter stitched, as you can see, and I believe you saw that in the introduction. And that's beautiful. Has the Jerusalem cross in the front cover. It has six raised ribs or raised hubs. 
has the Skylar cross also on the bottom of the spine, has Christian Standard Bible and the Holy Bible on top. This Bible is Smitesoon. You have a brown headband and a brown tailband. And you have three ribbons, um, two brown ribbons and one gold ribbon. These are double satin ribbons. They are long, they are wide, and they add a touch of beauty to this Bible. That I really think this Bible is gorgeous. The gilding, it's a red under gold. And the red is really very vivid and pronounced. It's not like that really light red that sometimes almost looks like salmon color. No, this is really red, okay? So, and the gilding is, is awesome. It's perfect. There you go. Very, very nice gilding. That's it. You open it up, you have this dark brown capskin liner, full leather liner. You have a gilt line, a gold gilt line. Very, very nice. Here you have capskin leather cover. The corner work is what you normally get in a Skylar Quintel. <laughs> uh, okay, not the best in my opinion, but uh, not bad. It's just, you know, it is edge lined. As you can see, now these Bibles, the Skylar Quintels, they're they're great. I think Skylar really made a great job with these Bibles. I think that these Bibles are here to stay. I think they they will be loved and used by many. It's my main Bible right now is a Skylar Quintel New King James, and yeah, it's hard not to love these Bibles. So you have these initial. Uh, thick sheets of paper. You have a presentation page with these cool designs here. And you have marriages, another page for births, deaths. Then you have a presentation page, the Holy Bible, already in this 28 GSM paper. Very thin paper, but I can assure you, very resistant and decently opaque for a paper that is this thin. So Holy Bible, Christian Standard Bible, Scholar Bibles, and you turn it and you have the information page. Pause if you need to. These Bibles are printed and bound by Royal Youngblood in the Netherlands, and the typesetting, the 11-point Milo font, um, it was designed by 2K Denmark. So, again, nothing very new. These Bibles uh, have been there in other translations for quite a while, but Scholar is coming out with different translations, and CSB is a translation that, although it's not my favorite, I do respect it, I do love it, I do use it. Generally speaking, I really like this translation. So you have here the contents, then you have an, an introduction to the Christian Standard Bible. It talks about textual base, goals of the translation, translation philosophy. Uh, they talk about the optimal equivalence. Interesting concept. Of course, the CSB is... You can almost say it's an update of the HCSB, the Holman Christian Standard Bible. I think both of them are really nice translations. Okay, have the information here, traditional features found in the CSB, how the names of God are translated, footnotes, um, abbreviations in, this, in CSB Bibles, and the Old Testament title page, and you have the text. So. There's nothing very new here. If you know Skylar Bibles, um, if you know the Skylar Quintel, this 11-point font is just tremendously readable. It's dark. Um, it's beautiful. You have the verse numbers that are bold. They are big enough. I think they are big enough even for people that do not have a great vision. The chapter numbers are in this dark red. And um, at the bottom of the exterior column, you have translation notes. And the difference between these and the translation notes that I find on my New King James Quintel is that these start with A, B, C. In the New King James, you have one, two, three, you know, so a little difference there. But then you have, of course, the cross-references that are centered at the bottom. So again, nothing very new here. Just this Bible just looks beautiful. You have a lot of cross-references. Here you go. 
here on the left page you have translation notes on this exterior column here on the left column if you if you are on a page on the right you have the translation notes on the right column here so look at all of these um, references so this is how the text looks in prose sections and when you have poetry this is how it looks yeah just beautiful beautiful uh, the Psalms look great when you have letters they are indented as you can see here in Jeremiah chapter 29 really nice their poetry again um, you come to the New Testament. Now, this is a transition between Old Testament and New Testament. No pages in between, No, not a lot of paper, just one title page for the New Testament. And then you have a New Testament that is black letter, okay? This is not a red letter Bible, it's a black letter Bible. I love it for me, um, since I underline my Bibles a lot, when I have black letter I actually prefer it when I'm underlining in the New Testament and nothing against red letter Bibles I love them too <laughs> so yeah an interesting feature and detail in this Bible is when you have quotes in the New Testament from the Old Testament as you can see and I guess you probably saw that in the introduction you have the text in bold okay so already the regular text in these scholar quintels it's pretty dark and pretty uh, intense but you can still have it darker and bolder of course so these are the quotations from the Old Testament in bold here in the New Testament when you come to the end of Revelation you really don't have a lot of um, you don't have anything in between you just have immediately a table of weights and measures okay there you go and then you have a concordance to the CSB and this concordance is about 83 pages I believe so big concordance the the font is small so you have a lot of material here I can show you here for Christ see also Messiah you have all this information and as you can see you have the first letter of the word in bold then the text a little bit of the text of the biblical reference and then you have the references in red as well or dark red okay so after the concordance you have one sheet of paper and you have the bible maps by Schuyler these are 12 maps here you have them and I have to say that the Schuyler maps are, if they're not my favorite, they're very close to that because I just love the fact that they don't use shiny, glossy paper, just this matte paper, um, this matte finish. And I, I just, I really like it. I, I think they're beautiful. So, yeah. If you know what a Schuyler Quintel is, you know what this is. Here you have an index, two maps, and then you come back to some thick sheets of paper, add structure to the Bible at the end, and also to give you some space for notes. And that's it. Okay. So this is the Bible. I actually love this size in a Bible. Um, the only suggestion that I would make to Skylar if they're watching this video is give your fans um, this size with 36 GSM. Now I know that sounds crazy but my suggestion is that you lower the size of the font you know 11 point font is great but you can go with 10 point or 9 9.5 font and give us the same size of of the bible that i really really think this size is just awesome but with 36 gsm now i know 28 gsm is wonderful elegant um, a lot of people love it i know this paper is very high quality paper 
but for overall use uh, when you're underlining when you're flipping the pages to me personally I prefer 36 GSM I have the New King James Skylar Quintel in 36 GSM I don't plan on getting rid of this Bible ever I think it's just such a wonderful wonderful Bible and the paper is so awesome and then the pages are easier to turn and to me they're easier to work with. Yeah, I would just wish that we could have an option that is not as thick and heavy as um, the previous 36 GSM Quintel Bibles that would basically have this format, this size um, and thinness but would have 36 GSM. That's what I would like to see. I think you have a market for that. That's it for this video, my friend. Whatever Bible you use, just pray that the Lord may speak to you through His Word, by the power of the Holy Spirit, guiding you into all truth. Know that you are greatly loved by Jesus. Jesus was crucified for you, and He was crucified for me. All right, bye!